Hi everybody. So as you probably know, I have a huge passion for um, exercise and sports and um, I used to be the captain of my cheerleading squad in high school and since then um, I've kept up my exercise. I've been running a lot and going to the gym and um, you know even doing strength training at home, whatever it takes to, to keep it up. So um, I'm in the middle of actually training for my second marathon, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, and what I want to do today is share with you my workout collection. Um, so the first thing that I want to show you is um, are my sports bras. Uh, these are, this is a Nike one, it's actually one of my favorites, it's light blue and it's probably one of their most popular uh, models. It's very simple, it's crossed in the back, it has this light fabric that allows, um, you know, sweat to evaporate and um, it has the Nike swoosh on the front. And I know it probably looks like I'm doing a Nike app right now, but I'm absolutely not. I have a lot of brands that I'm going to talk about. Um, I am wearing Nike right now. This is also a um, built-in sports bra slash tank top. So you can go out and run it this straight away. It has the support that you need. I'm also wearing um, Nike shorts with like elastic spandex underneath and um, a layer on top. Also very, very good for running and any kind of gym activity that you want to do. Um, so that's the first sports bra. Also, one of my favorite brands is Lululemon. Um, and they are, they started out, I think, as a yoga company, but they now make uh, clothes for all different type, types of uh, exercise, like running, cycling. So this one is um, a sports bra. I am not that big in the bus, so I don't need that much support, much support um, but they have Lululemon makes um, a really, really wide range of sports bras, really good sports bras for all types of needs. So this is, has the Lululemon um, horseshoe in the back here. And I love the back because not only is it this beautiful lilac color, but it has these straps that cross in the back. I just think it's a really cool detail. And um, a lot of times I think when we think about sportswear, we think functionality, but I think you know, aesthetics are also very important. So that's the second sports bra. Um, the third one is uh, by this brand called Moving Comfort. And they are known to make sports bras where they, um, instead of thinking it as, uh, of your bust as just one item, I guess they think of it as, you know, two individual things. So it has two cups, kind of like a normal bra, but there's no underwire and it just provides very very good support and it goes all the way from you know the smallest cups to the largest very good support if you have a larger bust it has three clips in the back where you can clip um, close it just like a bra like a regular bra um, very 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 comfortable i love these as well so that was i just thought it'd be fun to try you know something different um, but i guess because i'm not you know, I'm a little bit smaller. I don't really need, I don't need too many of those types of bras. This is um, one of the newer Lululemon um, sports bra models. And again, it has really cool detail in the back, the straps here. They cross over. And this you can use, you know, it's actually, it's very fashionable. I mean, you could use this probably as, you know, a top with something over it, or if you're just, you know, having a casual day, you can, I don't know, you can wear it for yoga. There's so many different, different um, occasions you can wear this for. But the great thing is that it does provide enough support if you want to go for a good run. If you want to go for a fast run, all of these bras that I'm showing you guys provide enough support. Um, the last one is also a Lululemon sports bra. Again, very minimal in the back. Cross straps, razor back straps in the back here. Um, great if you are like me and sometimes perspire and get some acne on the back. So you see this material here is very thin and that's great because you're, um, you're not trapping in a lot of um, heat and bacteria. So I really like, I really like them for that purpose. Uh, next I'm going to show you uh, the tops that I use and 
Because it, the temperature varies so much here in Kansas City, I like to um, have obviously different clothes for the summer. Really, really thin, thin materials. Um, and it's really important to b invest in good workout clothes. Don't, don't wear cotton t-shirts when you go out and run or work out because it's just not going to it's, it's not going to help you evaporate your sweat very well. So um, this, let me see what it's made out of, if I can find it. Hmm. Not sure that I can, but if I look on one of the other, I think I might have cut the label off, but I think if I look on one of the other tops, I'll be able to tell you guys um, the kind of materials you should look out for. So this is also a Nike top. I love the color, this magenta color, and it's very light. So you just slip it on over your sports bra, and in a, on a summer's day, perfect, you're not going to get hot. So that's that top. And then another summer one is this one by Brooks, another brand I love. They make great shoes. Has a little bit of detailing on the back here, a little bit of design. And this color is just so fun and fruity. It's just kind of a pick-me-up color, especially if you have a little bit of a tan. I think it looks great. Um, so again, uh, let me see if I can find the label in this one. Again, a very light material, great for um, getting rid of that sweat. So it's 100% polyester, and that's really what you want to go for. You don't want to you don't want to wear cotton when you're working out. Um, then I have this one, which is a Nike, again, dry fit, and that's uh, a line that they've made specifically um, for the purpose that I was talking about, helping to uh, get rid of heat as soon, as fast as possible. So you have, um, you see this very, very thin material on the back with holes in them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's different to the front. And that's great because the back is usually where you get really, really hot. So I love that. And it also has a bit of a wider neck ring. And then this is um, another one of Nike's very, very popular designs. They come in all different colors. I love this blue. It's so bright. It just cheers me up every time I wear it. It fits really nicely. Um, again, the Nike swoosh. And it has this little Nike. And it has these reflective um, bands so that if you're running at night, and a light shines on you, you will reflect right out. So that's great. Um, Sugoi is also one of my favorite brands. Again, I love this material. It's light. It's a very simple design. Here's the Sugoi label right there. Also here on the front. Just a very simple, and you'd think, you know, it's black, so it'd probably get really hot, but it actually doesn't. I think it's because they make amazing, um, I think it's a Japanese brand, they make amazing materials um, suited for all different kinds of workouts. So Sugoi is definitely one of my top, top, you know, favorite brands. Also Mizuno, now we're getting into winter wear a little bit here. But this is um, a Mizuno running top and it, it's just, it has different materials. Let me see if I can find the labels to read it for you guys. Um, okay, so, yep, it is, um, again, 90% polyester and polyacrylate, which I don't know what that is, but I think the main thing that we should know is that it's polyester and it's really, really good for, um, for working out. So cool designs on the back, gray, black, and red, the Mizuno reflective tag here on the front. Okay, um, and then shorts, which I think is really important because if you're not wearing the right kind of shorts, they either ride up, you know, they're just, they don't give you the right kind of support. Very, very annoying when you're running or when you're working out. One of my favorites is the Nike Nike shorts and they're very popular at the moment. You can get them in so many different colors. I have them in more, but I'm not going to show you all of them because it get really boring. <laughs> um, and it's again, it's the dry fit. And this is a size 
small, but you know, they come in all different sizes from extra small to, I'm sure, you know, XXL. And it has this inner layer inside, which kind of acts like second layer of underwear. And then you have this layer on top, very, very breathable. It's very good. It has these elastic straps, um, or straps that you can tighten, tighten your shorts on the inside. So these are probably my favorite um, running pants. They're fashionable. They're probably not as tight fitting as some, you know, some people might like designs that are a lot more, that show their shape a lot more. Um, and in that case, you could probably go for something like these Saucony um, bike shorts. And they're not actually specifically made for biking because they don't have this pad at the bottom. But these are great for running if you're, you know, running a really hot day and if you don't mind wearing really tight fitting stuff. So I don't have too many of these because I'm not always in the mood to wear that kind of clothing. Um, one of my other favorite shorts are these Adidas shorts. Again, they're kind of like, they're kind of a cross between the two, the last two that I showed you because they're a bit more tight fitting, um, but they're also you know, have this loose layer on the top, so it just kind of folds really nicely down. These are the Adidas um, Adisar, that's what they're called. And they have these little gray stripes on the side. Okay, um, now this is kind of a fun one. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you've heard, but there are running skirts <laughs> up there. And so this is what a running skirt looks like. It basically looks like a skirt. And on the back here, this is by Lululemon, and they have these pleats, really, really fun. Have a pocket here. On the inside, you have shorts. So, you know, you can basically come from, you know, having coffee with your friend to going straight for a run or vice versa, the opposite way around. Um, and it's great because you can actually look quite fashionable when you're going to exercise and I think that's what's great about sportswear nowadays is that it's made for you know people who care about how they look. So you've got this little po pocket in the back here. Um, this is a size 6 Lululemon. Lul Lululemon usually I feel runs a size smaller than other sizes. Um, you've got pocket if you want to keep your keys in there, if you want to you know put some money in there. I think it might even fit a credit card. Probably not your iPhone. So, and it also has two little pockets in the front here. You want to fit little things here. And adjustable strap inside. And I know Lululemon is constantly making new types of running skirts. So those are really fun. And for the winter, a little bit more serious looking, but also really, really fun. Um, you have these Lululemon, these are actually three quarters. And if you can see, the detail on here is quite amazing. Um, you have this material that goes down to here, um, quite even, and then you get a little bit thinner here, where you can see, again, all of these materials are great for exercise. And you have these, it's hard to see because it's black, but you have these fine details here, which just, when you put them on, something about Lululemon leggings, they just look amazing. These are great for running, great for yoga. They're multi-purpose. Multi Again, size six, they have a little pocket in the back. So you can put whatever you want inside. Also an adjustable strap on the inside. These come in so many different colors, but I usually, with my sports gear, for you know stuff like this, I like to go with pretty basic colors so that you can match it with everything. Um, these are also Lululemon, but they are flared. They're longer and they're flared. And I would not wear them to go running. I would wear them to, and probably not yoga either. This is something that I would just wear on a really casual day um, when I just want to kind of lounge around or go out and get coffee, you know, that kind of thing. Um, they have this amazing design on the top, the Lululemon sign at the back here. And when you put it on, it just looks great because it just, it's very, very form fitting in a flattering way. So I definitely recommend them um, for a series of running. <laughs> Saucony, again, great brand. They have, this is what they look like. And they have great stripey designs here. Reflectors, if you're running at night, that's very handy. They also have these 
uh, zip zippers that come up like this. Um, but so you can, you know, adjust it however you feel like. Has an adjustable um, strap here that you can pull. Also, again, and this is very, very practical if you go out running, you can put your things here in, in the back here. You can put your keys. You know, I usually um, tie up, because I have two keys, I tie them up with a little hairband so that they don't clink. And I put it here in the back. Might put some money just in case. You never know what's going to happen when you're on the run. So those are my Saucony pants. Um, it can get very, very cold when you're running. So you would, I would usually wear you know, a sports bra layer like this underneath, maybe even the Mizuno long sleeve, right? This is maybe like early spring when it's still cold. If it's really cold in the winter, I would definitely put on an extra layer. This is again Sugoi, one of my favorites, favorite brands. Um, this one is, this was such a great investment and um, I know it might not look all that cool, but when you feel the material, it's really, it's definitely something you want to run in. Um, these pockets are very cool because actually they turn into gloves. So you can either have it like just a normal, not pocket, sorry, sleeves. <laughs> uh, you can either have it just a normal sleeve like this, or you can actually turn it into a glove and then you're completely covered. Again, there's also a hood, which I think is pretty cool. You might look a bit crazy, but <laughs> it's cool. And you have this breathable pocket in the back here. So again, all of Sugoi's and all of the ones I've showed you, they're extremely breathable, great for working out. Um, and um, lastly, for the clothing items, I have this Mizuno winter jacket. This is a great lightweight jacket that you would slip on over your... Um, I, I'd say that I would be wearing you know, a long sleeve underlayer or short sleeve underlayer at this point, running with this over. It has reflectors all here, here, because it is a dark color. Having those reflectors at night is really, really important. Um, this is a medium Mizuno women's. Um, sometimes if it's, you know, the weather is changing and I'm not ready to jump right into this kind of uh, clothing yet, you can accessorize, well, it's not really accessorize, it's more functional than that, but you can wear things like compression socks, you can wear leg warmers, arm warmers. So this is a compression sock, and it's, it's very good for circulation, good for recovery, because it's pumping blood around the body. So it's basically kind of the same things that you wear, you know, compression socks that they have uh, for the plane. And this is the brand CEP, very popular, very, that they make a lot of these things. So you basically would just slip it over and wear, you know, you have your shorts and then you have your compression socks up to just underneath the knees. Um, I have a pair of white ones as well, which I really like. And um, arm warmers. These are fun. These are really, really fun. This is made by Sugoi. So with arm, and it's great because you have the option of taking it off. So you can be wearing, you know, what I'm wearing right now and then you just slip on your arm warmers. I think these are actually a little bit big for me. But you just slip on your arm warmers and go out for a run, and it's great. You can also get arm compressions, but I've found that I don't really need that for, for myself. Um, very important to um, protect your eyes, especially when it's really, really warm in the summer. I have a pair of Oakley sunglasses that I wear. To reflect the sun. These are Polaroid, so um, anti-glare, um, which I bought from New York City actually. And they're Polaroid, so they will um, uh, reflect the sunlight so that it won't glare, basically. It comes in this box, um, has these, an extra pair of lenses, and it has this, it comes with this bag as well, which Personally, I don't think it's very useful because if, you know, you have a pair of Oakleys in this bag and if you put them in your handbag, they're going to get crushed. So I think, you know, in either case, you kind of do need to have this hard case for your sunglasses, your Oakleys. Um, something fun. I have this uh, 
Sometimes I like to spice up, you know, my wardrobe a little bit and I was at a uh, running convention and they were selling these and I just couldn't help myself. It's pink, you know, you know how much I love pink and um, it's kind of, you know, glittery on the outside here and on the inside it's velvet. <laughs> so that's really cool um, and it's by Sparkly Soul, that's, that's the company. So I would wear this, um, I'd have my hair up in a ponytail like this and then I would just wear this like that and you know if I'm maybe racing or if I just feel like cheering myself up I'll wear this. Um, then I have some more winter, three more items of winter running gear to share with you. Gloves. Trust me, when it gets really cold, you'll want to wear gloves. Um, these have a little bit of neon green, which I really like because it just gives it that extra pop. And they're by Segoy, again, one of my favorite brands. Um, and they're just, yeah, they're great. They have reflectors as well. Hat for the winter. Very, very important. You don't want to get sick. And it's just, it's comfortable. This one, I like because it's just kind of lightweight. I like the colors. I just, you know, just like the way it fits. It's very comfortable. It's not too tight. It's just the right size. Um, now, I have not had to use this yet, but I know that one day it's going to get so cold that I might need to wear a Sugoi neck warmer. So, you know, just like you're going skiing. Why wouldn't you want to protect your neck, right, when it's cold outside? So, again, great material. It's a going neck warmer. Um, then I have... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this Amphipod um, running sack. And you can basically use this to carry your water. There's a water bottle that goes in there. Fortunately, I lost mine, so I can't show it to you guys, but it's basically... Um, a plastic water bottle that, that just slips inside and it's a really cool shape it's um, I think it's ergonomic and it just fits right there so that when you need to take a swing of water if you're training you know for a long time or you're going out for a long walk even and it's really hot you just pull it out it doesn't slip and you just take a drink of water this is great because you can put here you can put your iPod you can put your um, you know, your money, it's quite a big, I have a plastic bag in here, but it's quite a big pocket, so you can fit a lot of things in here. Um, again, it has the reflective band here, it has adjustable straps on the back, and the material here is also breathable. So it's, I'd say, very good. It can be a little bit annoying if you're running. Um, I can't personally wear this on my hips, I have to tighten it so that I'm wearing it around my waist, because otherwise it just keeps jumping up and down. And that's no fun. It gets really annoying when you're running. Not the greatest feeling when you're running to have something strapped around you this bulky. I mean, it can get a lot bulkier, but um, necessary if you're going out for a long run because you do need to hydrate quite often. So that's definitely a must. Summer, winter, if you're doing long runs, definitely necessary. But what I'm going to show you next is actually one of my favorite items. This is called a spy belt. And you see how lightweight and thin that is. Um, adjustable, stretchy straps here. Tiny, tiny pocket. Well, it looks tiny, but it's actually quite big. I can fit my iPhone, my credit card, my money all in here. It doesn't jump around. You fasten it around your waist. This is just one of my favorite items. I can't, yeah, I can't go running without it. I love it so much. Your keys. You can fit everything in here. It's great. Um, the last one is the Amphipod, um, same brand as the, this pack that I showed you earlier. Um, and it's for your iPhone, you can put it around your arm. Personally, I don't prefer this just because I don't feel that it actually stays on my arm when I'm running, it kind of jumps around. So I would go for the spy belt. Um, now, lastly, before I move on to my bags, um, have a heart rate monitor, which I sometimes like to use when I like to um, test what my resting heart rate is. And basically, when you start to do a lot of aerobic training, your resting heart rate goes down. 
And so when I remember when I was training for my first marathon, my resting heart rate was actually 40. And that's crazy. It was 40. Now it's around 60, but because I'm starting to train for my second marathon, I'm going to keep testing this and see how low my resting heart rate goes. Um, yeah, so basically you just put it around your wrist and then it'll start tightening. You press start, it starts tightening, and then it'll give you your blood pressure as well as your resting heart rate. Very cool. This item is from Omron. I like it a lot because it's portable. So these are the running shoes I'm currently using. They're road running shoes by Mizuno. It's the Mizuno Wayrider 15, and I've actually used these, um, I think this is my third pair. Um, I guess they keep renewing it, so, and they work really well for me. And that's the thing about running shoes, is that I find it's really hard to find the right pair of shoes that fit your needs, that are comfortable. So, once you find something you like, I would say go out and buy, you know, two or three pairs, because they might not be making anything that fits you in the future and then you're going to be wearing a pair of shoes that are half comfortable. Um, it's really important when you're choosing running shoes not to just choose them based on how they look or what's in fashion, you know, like for example, um, the Nike free running shoes, um, as you guys have probably seen or maybe own a pair, have become very, very popular and they are great if you want to, you know, walk around in them. but. I would say not necessarily great for running. They can be, but it doesn't suit everybody's running needs. So what you actually need to do is go to a proper running store and have your gait examined. So have somebody videotape how you're running um, and they'll be able to tell you whether you need a neutral or stability shoe, you know, whether you, you know, turn your foot out of it when you run or whether you turn it in. So they'll be able to tell you what kind of shoe you need. You also need to know um, if you what what occasion are you buying your running shoes for? Are you buying it to walk? Are you buying it to run on the road? Are you buying it to run trails? You know, all of these will affect your decision. So if you're buying, if you're running mostly on trails, then you don't really want to get a running shoe. You the road running shoe. You want to get a trail shoe that has you know a little bit more grip on the bottom. Same if you're running. Um, you know, doing a lot of speed work, then you want to get a pair of lighter shoes maybe for that occasion. If you're racing, you may want to get a pair of racing shoes. So um, there's a lot of things to keep in mind. I think the most important thing is don't choose based on what they look like. Choose on comfort and also the type of foot you have, um, how you run. So those are really important things. And then once you've narrowed all that down, then you can choose, you know, color if you even have that option. A lot of times the options are quite limited. But I was lucky enough to be able to get this, you know, Mizuno Wave Rider in pink since it's, you know, my second favorite color right now. And um, so I was, you know, pretty happy that they had this in my size and everything. Okay, bags, yay. Um, the first item I have is this rather large Black Lululemon sports bag. And for anybody who loves pockets, this is probably the bag for you because, okay, let's count how many pockets it has. It has one here, one bigger one here, one smaller one inside, one here, so that's four. The back, it has another one here, one here, the smaller one again. So eight already on the outside, plus two on the sides here where you can put your water bottle or whatever you want. So that's already 10 pockets just on the outside of the Lululemon bag. Um, then you open it up, there's two different, uh, two different compartments here. One, two. Open up. What I love about this is that it's incredibly sturdy. This is what it looks like on the inside. And it has the Lululemon written inside on the gray. It has this pocket here and it actually states on it, I think, what um, they want you to use this for. And it's for your, they call it the unmentionables. <laughs> so if you went, you've gone to the gym and you know, you've finished exercising, you put your laundry, when things that you don't want anybody else to see inside here. It says sweaty, mat, sweaty wet unmentionables, which I think is hilarious. Um, 
So yep, yeah, that's, that's that one. And then on the other side, you've got three mesh pockets here. You've got one here with a zipper. You've got two more here. Okay, I've lost count of how many pockets, but you guys can get the, you guys get the picture. Then there's another pocket here, which I think this is a great, um, this is great for, because it's a little bit flatter, so it's great if you want to put your computer inside, your laptop, if you want to put some files in there, so you can use this as a handbag as well. You know, if you're going away for a weekend, I think it's great for a weekend bag. It also comes with um, straps that you can put on on the end here so that it hangs, but I prefer to carry it like this because it hurts my shoulders less. So it has these um, embellishments right here, um, which are basically an extension of the strap. It just kind of looks kind of gives it a little bit more character. So this is um, great material for sports because it's um, splash proof and um, it's just a very, very sturdy bag. Now, unfortunately, this bag, because it's so big and roomy, it has these little aluminum studs on the bottom, I forgot to mention. Because it's so big, it doesn't really fit in the locker this way, so I um, actually have recently just gotten this new bag called Miss Wallace by Miss Wallace, which is also an amazing brand. It's black as well. The material is a little bit different though. You guys can probably see um, the difference right there. And it again has, it doesn't have the same number of compartments, like it doesn't have all those compartments on the outside, but it does have three really cool bags that attach on the inside, three different sizes. So. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the inside first. And um, there's the Miss Wallace brand right there. It has a little zipper pocket here with compartments inside for your phone and all that kind of stuff. Little thing here as well. And again, it's this material that's very suitable for sportswear, you know, anything that might be a little bit sweaty. Two pockets here for anything you want to put inside. So these things, um, they, they uh, detach so you can take it off like this. Um, but I guess, you know, if you have it like this, it's just really easy to find. Three different sizes. This is the mini, this is the middle size, and this is the larger size. It's just great for organizing your things. And if you don't want to keep them in your bag, you can definitely use them, they're multi-purpose, you can use them for anything else that you want and take them out of your bag. And uh, this bag came in this little dust bag right here. So um, I'm loving this bag right now because it's just such a great size, um, it's light and um, it's really fashionable as well. It has these red, reddish details here on the side, also has a strap that you can connect here to the end and wear, you know, crossbody. But I personally prefer to wear things over my shoulder because I just think it puts a little bit less strain on the body. So, yeah, that was my very large um, sports mark collection that I wanted to share with you guys uh, because I'm very passionate about it. So, hope you enjoyed it and um, if you have any questions about you know, where to buy things, um, anything like that, um, you know, where I got any of my things or just comments about anything, please feel free to share in the comment box below. Okay, thanks everybody.